All right, guys. So we're back again. We have uh, Michael Martinez here. He's going to uh, go over a couple more tips that are going to help you uh, feel better and lift better. Cool. So today we're going to work on, last week we worked on some uh, ankle mobility. This week, especially for a uh, long cycle, anybody using their quads a lot, we're going to work on relaxing the quads and digging in and relaxing a bit your piriformis. So she's sitting in that rack position, depending if you're too bent in the knee or if you're just using your quads a lot and you want to get these tissues kind of relaxed so your low back doesn't kill you and you don't feel like you're sitting forward. So we're going to stick to the theme of using bells, since again, we all have bells. And Tiff is going to be my lovely assistant today. So, good times. So, again, when you have a good friend, or if you can do this yourself, Tiff has a good friend, she has me. So <laughs> Tiff, go ahead and take a seat. If your friend's doing this, make sure you're not screaming. Legs are nice and long. Normally I tell a person just lay back and relax. We're just going to take the bell. Don't start with too heavy of a weight. Kettlebell kings. And all I'm going to do is just place it right on top of the quad. Ideally, I'm going to work into the three parts of the tissues, both going up the rectus femoris, and then digging a little bit into her medial bassus, and just gently gliding that bell up. Stay off the bony prominence, so stay off the knee. Tips is so happy right now. The lateral bassus, depending on your style or your performance of the way you stand, this lateral band can be super tight. As I roll this bell around, sometimes you may feel a collagen bond sort of come off, and that's not bad. It should actually feel pretty amazing when it happens. It's going to jostle or surprise the both of you. Just keep going. And that's Tiff just being happy. Now, it's time variance of working here. I'd say roughly about two minutes per leg. I already promised Tiff that I'd only go for 20 seconds. So that should be about 20 seconds. I'm gonna go to the opposite leg, take that off. <laughs> and again, start on the other leg. Remember again, stay away from the bony prominence, so I'm not trying to touch the kneecap. I'm gonna stay right above the patellofemoral socket. And again, we're just going down, clear up the rectus. And then again, go into the abductor. And then you go to the outside. Ideally, I'm gonna say stay off of the IT band. It's designed to be tight, so just let it be what it's going to be. But by relaxing this quad, I'll also give some extra motion to my hip flexors, and that'll be a good day. And again, like I said, about two minutes should be good enough. Tip's having a great time here. <laughs> All right, so once we clear up the quads, congratulations. That should give you a little more alleviation in the knee, especially if you feel like you have cranky knees after the lifting set. Now I'm just gonna have to clear up the piriformis. Piriformis, easy way to find it. So by your butt, easy way to like reference point. Think of pants pocket of your blue jeans is exactly where you're gonna find your piriformis. Tip's gonna sit on up for me. And she's gonna take Large style ball. You can use a lacrosse ball. I typically like, uh, I use alpha balls. They're a little bit softer, not as sharp, but use what you got. If you have a tennis ball, lacrosse ball, baseball, or softball, those will all do. They'll just be a little bit harder. Um, alpha balls, I find a nice good investment if you have a sore butt. So it's just gonna locate where her pants pop of the blue jean is. And she's just gonna grind right into that. So bring your arm right over here. If you want to put it on the stretch like Tip is doing there, you'll get a deeper stretch. And again, roughly about like a minute per side is more than enough. If the pain is intolerable, you feel like it's very sharp, don't roll, just hang out. She's doing pretty much like a champ here. And go on and go on to the other side. Yeah, you feel a difference from one side to the other? Oh, yeah, the other side is way tighter. Yeah. Sometimes you will find like an asymmetry, depends on how you stand, sit, walk, or you know, if you have an old injury on one side of your hip or low back, you can notice certain areas are going to be tighter than others. Cool. After 
or something like that, doing a couple of basic cat and cows, just sort of stretch and activate the area if the back feels a little cranky. Cats, cows, cobras, all good just for stretching and activating the low back area. <laughs> Roughly doing any type of back extensions or cat cows, two to three sets, 10 to 12 reps, nothing too crazy. Make sure your breathing is under control. Breathing will, of course, always make you a whole lot more relaxed as we also know when we're lifting as well. And cool, go ahead, stand on up there. See how your quads feel. Shake them out. Awesome job. All right. Cool.